Hello children, in this video I'm going to be covering cubes and cubing a number. Um, before we get to what cubing is and what it looks like, let's just take a real quick refresher of squares and squaring a number. So if you look at these examples, I have a 2x2 two two square, a 3x3 three three square, a 4x4 four four square, a 5x5 five five square, a 6x6 six six square. So these are all squares and I can write their areas as, for example, 2 squared or 3 squared. And if I do 2 squared, remember that means 2 times 2, which is 4. So the area here is 4 squared units. And here, 3 squared means 3 times 3, which is 9. So this is 9 square units. And then, etc., 4 times 4 is 4 squared, which would be 16 square units. And 5 times 5 is 25 square units, so 5 squared is 25. And 6 squared is 36. So that's 36 square units. Now these numbers in red, the 4, the 9, the 16, the 25, the 36, they're all called perfect squares. It's when I take a whole number like 4 and I square it, or a 5 and I square it, and, or a 6 and I square it. So what cubes are is taking it one step for, further and instead of a square, now I have a cube. Now we're not doing area of the cube, we're doing volume, which is how much 3D space the actual cube takes up or the figure takes up. So I can do volume, I, I, I do the three dimensions of the cube times themselves, so 2 times 2 times 2, which can be written as 2 cubed, and we call it cubed for this reason, because it makes a cube. So 2 times 2 times 2 is the cube of 3, which 2 times 2 is 4, and times 2 is 8. So 8 is a perfect cube. And then I have 3 times 3 times 3, or 3 cubed. And we're going to show you on a calculator how to compute these. I know what they are because I have the first few memorized, but I'm not going to show you the answers yet. I'll show you how to find it on a calculator. So then we have 4 times 4 times 4. So that's 4 cubed, written like this. Remember, that means 4 times 4 times 4. And then I have 5 cubed, whoops, there we go, and I have 6 cubed. Now that's as far as I got, there we go. They, they go on forever, I mean you really can go on forever, and actually I didn't even do 1. I could do 1 times 1 times 1, or 1 cubed, which is 1 obviously. So this would be one cubic unit, it's eight cubic units. Um, but let me show you how to do it on a calculator because that's what you're going to be doing. So I'm going to show you to, once again the tale of two calculators where I have these two calculators. Many of you have this calculator at home and these are the ones we use in class. They're both very, very similar. So you have to learn two buttons here for cubing. Uh, for calculator one, which is the class calculator, the X, we're going to find out what's the exponent button. Remember, the exponent is the small floating number, so on 5 cubed, the exponent is 3. And on 6 cubed, the exponent is 3. So when we're cubing, the exponent's 3, and when we're squaring, the exponent is 2. So there's an exponent button on these calculators. For the class calculator, the exponent button is y to the x power. See it right there, it's underneath the off says y to the x power. That's the button that does that you're going to use for cubing. And I'll show you how it works in a second. On the other calculator, the exponent button doesn't say y to the x. It's this little house button. Whoop, went in a little too far. There it is. This little house button right here. That's your exponent button. Now I'll show you how they both work. So you have the y to the x button for the one calculator and you have the little house button, um, that's your exponent button. Now the way you do this is, you're going to type in the base, you're going to hit the exponent button, you're going to type the exponent, and then you're going to hit equals. Now you're going to do that on both of these calculators, you'll notice it's the exact same. I type in the base first, I hit the exponent button, I type the exponent, and then I hit equals. So, for example, this, the one I left up there was 4 cubed. So I would type in, let me turn this bad boy on, the base in 4 cubed 
is four. So I'm gonna type in the base first, four, and then I'm gonna hit the exponent button, y to the x, and then nothing happens because the calculator wants to know what's the exponent. And for cubing, the exponent is three. So I'm gonna type, after I hit my exponent button, I'm gonna type a three, and then hit equals, that's the last step, and I got 64. So 64 is four cubed, and actually here I'll run that over here. So this was 64 cubic units. Now I didn't do three, but and you can always do this a long way too. I could do three times three times three. Three times three is nine, and then nine times three is 27. So if you don't have a calculator, or if you have a calculator that only does basic functions and you can't type a calculator, like some calculators don't have exponent buttons. This is 27. Um, then you can just do it the old school way of just multiplying the number times itself three times. So we have 1, 8, 27, 64. These are the perfect cubes. Now I'll show you on the other calculator too, and I have a couple examples here. Okay. Two cubed, I did up there, and we said it was 8. It's 2 times 2 times 2. Now I can do it, literally, by doing 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, you can do that way. Or, remember, I'm going to type the base which is two, and then on this calculator my exponent button is this little house button, so I click on that, that's exponent, and then cubing is three, it's times three, whoops, I'm gonna backspace, there we go. So this is what will show on your calculator, this means two to the power of three, or two cubed, and when I hit equals, I get eight. So I do it the same way, so two cubed, which is two times two times two is eight. Four cubed, we already did that one, that's 64, but I'll show you again on here. Four exponent, three, because that's cubed, 64, okay? For five cubed, I'll do that one on here, so you can kind of see how it works both ways. And then five cubed, which is five times five times five, I'll just do five, that's the base. Remember the base is the big number. I'm gonna do five times five times five. Or I could hit five, I'm gonna hit my exponent button. And then the calculator wants to know what the exponent is. The exponent is three. I hit equals and I get 125. I'll show you this one one more time with six cubed, six, y to the x power, which is my exponent button, three, because it's cubed, equals 216 is three cubed, because it's six times six times six. And again, I can always do six times six times six. I'll get the same number, but it just takes longer. And then for the last example, I'll show you on this one again. Clear this. So it's 21 cubed, that's a big number. So I'm gonna hit 21, I'm gonna hit my exponent button, which on this calculator is the house. And then the exponent is three, because it's cubed. 21 to the third power, or 21 cubed, is 9,261. So that's basically how you do cubing. You'll notice it's very similar to squaring, but instead of doing the number times itself, I do the number times itself times itself. So I do it three times, and it makes these beautiful cubes, and that's why they call it cubing. All right, hope this helps. See you in class.